Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about swipe view control in our QTQML application. Also we will see its basics property or how to implement or use this swipe view control in our QTQML application. Or also we will see how to add the multiple pages or multiple views in our swipe view control. So let's start. So first of all import the QTQML control. Okay, also import the QTQML layout. Now let's create the uh, swipe view. Assign the ID means object name my swipe view. Okay, we have to set the width and height property. So let's set the anchor dot fill property. You see, and assign the uh, same width and height property of as per our parent. Okay. Now let's create the fill. Now let's create the or add the multiple pages in our swipe view. So now let's create the uh, add new item. Click on Qt. In that option, we have a select the QML file and see add write your page name. Okay. And finish. So you can see the page one is created. Now let's create two more pages. page 2 now let's add the one more page page 3 and that's it so here we have to define the uh, current index of our uh, page so let's define the uh, first sorry 0 so starting index is 0 of our swipe view so whenever uh, we run the application the default uh, page which will display this the is zero. Okay. Now add the uh, pages in our swipe view control. Page one, page two, and page three. Okay. Now let's write the code inside the our pages. So also import the query quick controls here. Import the query quick layouts also. Now let's inside of the item let's create the rectangle control. So here we have to set the uh, width and height property. So let's set the uh, same width and height as our anchor property, our parent property. Okay. So let's set the uh, parent. So if you want to assign the uh, same width and height as a uh, as a parent, so you can use the anchor dot fill property. Now let's display the. Uh, our rectangle in center of the application center of the parent okay let's select the uh, set the color so here let's set the red color for page one now let's create the column view column layout in our rectangle inside of rectangle so now let's add the uh, some text property my text one okay here we have to set the id property my page one okay now here we set the text property here this is first page okay now let's create the uh, set the uh, some column layout property here so let's set the uh, anchor property and display the our rect, uh, column in center of the our parent now set the spacing between two controls so let's set the 10 now let's create the button control to navigate to between two pages or two views okay so now let's create the uh, text property here go to page go to second page okay now let's create assign the uh, layout uh, alignment okay layout dot alignment so display the our button in center of the vertical layout qt vertical and qt sorry align v center and qt align set center okay now let's create the on click event 
to move their swipe view or next next page of our swipe view so simply copy their id and pass here set current index equal to us is one okay now let's copy this code and write again to go to a third page third page so here set the index is two okay so this is the page code now let's simply just copy the all code for the page two and page three also and just change the object name and also copy this two line of code so now let's change the code for page two so change the id and let's change the color of for that and here set the id for text this is the second page and change your name go to back back to first page and change your index and this is the correct now let's change in the page 3 so first of all change the id then set the uh, different color for this page and change here the text also so here let's say and this is the third page okay go to uh, first page here sorry back to back to here change the first page first page and change here zero okay so let's verify the code again in this page we go to the second page and third page so here we set the uh, current index one for say go to second page and current index is two for the third page and in page two here we use the back to first page so here we set the current index equal to zero and for third page we set the two and for the page three here we set the current index for equal to one for second page and first page equal to zero okay for the first page okay and here we change here different colors okay now let's run the application and check it our swipe view wait for the build So you can see this is the first page, this is the second page, and this is the third page. Also, let's change here some text property style here. So let's set the font property font dot bold as a true or font dot point size is a 20 and also set the color. So let's change the white color. So this for this three property for assign for this text 2 and text 3 and now let's run the application and check it so this is the first page this is the second and this is the third page okay you can also navigate to so go to second page and go to third page and here you can back to a second page and here for the first back to first page also you can back to first page here so this is the button for to navigate between two indexes or uh, pages okay now let's uh, add the uh, you can also change the uh, orientation here so you can also set the uh, vertical orientation so now let's run the application and check it vertical orientation by default is the horizontal orientation so this is the first this is the second and this is the third okay now I also add the page indicator here in bottom of the our swipe you can see the in many application there is a there is a, a one page indicator of the multiple pages so now let's add the page indicator for our swipe view so set the first uh, indicator this is the ID and also we have to set the how many counts 
so here we have uh, three pages so here uh, we have to set the uh, my swipe view dot count property so it will return the number of pages inside the uh, our swipe view how many how many pages are available inside the our swipe view so the count functionality will return that um, uh, count value and set the uh, current index also here we have to set so my swipe view dot current index okay also we have to assign the uh, our page indicator alignment so set the uh, let display the our page indicator in bottom of the our swipe view so, so my swipe view dot bottom okay also set the uh, alignment horizontal alignment or say, uh, so display the our uh, pair, pair controls in our uh, page indicator in be center of the our swipe view so parent dot horizontal center copy this property here now let's run the application and check it so this is a same code available on the qt forum official website you can see you can see the uh, how page indicators here so this you can see how page indicators displayed so let's change the here first of all orientation as a vertical or change the uh, horizontal okay now let's run the application and check it so you can see the page indicator also here displayed and also it, its value change now let's create the current uh, orientation uh, current index change of our uh, page indicator so whenever you click on the, that uh, button on the uh, of our page indicator so it should also work uh, to change the uh, index of the uh, swipe view so set the uh, my swipe view dot current index equal to a current index okay here we have to set the interaction property interactive property interactive is that true okay now let's run the application and check it so when i click on the second page so it will move the second page and when i click on the third icon it will move the third page okay so this is the how page indicator also work so you can see the move to directly between the uh, first page or last page and this is the second page so this is the swipe view control here we add the multiple pages to display our uh, uh, display in the swipe view control also you can add the multiple controls or multiple pages in the uh, swipe view control like bus, just, just simply add the QML files in your application and write the uh, this code and also you can assign the default current index so let's assign the second page of our swipe view so when i run the application it will automatically display the first page, second page of our swipe view control and that's it so this is the swipe view control and please stop your comment if you have any questions about swipe view control in our qtqml application and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you